Hello, Steve Townsend here from Townsend Handcrafted Whips. Uh, and just wanted to address a few things um, regarding whips that I've encountered after some conversations with a few customers of mine. Um, and uh, it's, it's primarily from customers who are new to whips, or rather new to whips that are braided tightly and braided with kangaroo, just well-made whips. They're used to either no whip at all or budget whips. And the only thing they really know about whips is what they base off of their previous experience, which can be minimal. Um, so one of the most common questions that I've been asked about is the tendency of my whip to want to only coil in a specific direction. And yes, they do. They only want to bend a certain way. And that's normal of a tightly braided whip. Um, and as you can see with this, this is a six foot whip that I braided and it's, uh, it's going to, if I bend it over this way, it, it wants to hold this bend, you know, and it'll want to do the same thing this way. It's not going to want to bend sideways, so you can't hold the whip like this and expect it to crack straight in front of you. You've got to either hold it like this or hold it like this, and that, that gets you into the two basic schools, so to speak, of whip cracking. So. Um, back in the day, you had the settlers and pioneers that were actually moving livestock with their whips would typically just hold their bull whips like this with what I would call the belly facing the ground and this would be the whip's back facing up into the sky. And so to do a cattleman's crack, you know, you just do your basic cattleman's crack and holding the whip like this. But then it's it's a matter of getting the whip to make this loop to get it to crack. This is better explained by Anthony Galongis, who was the gentleman that came along and said, if the whip already wants to bend this way, why am I trying to get it to bend the other way? It doesn't want to bend that way. It really wants to bend this way. So Anthony came up with this, his Galongis rolling loop method, basically, the whip is oriented with the belly in the air and the back towards the ground. And that just makes the whip naturally form this loop that, that rolls out and causes the cracker to break the sound barrier. Um, but your whip should, hopefully, if it's made well and braided fairly tightly, it should want to bend a certain way. And when you store the whip, you wanna, you wanna store the whip in that fashion coiled up that way so that it maintains that coil because it you know the whip's tendency to bend only a certain direction is what you're going to use and as your it, it will make the whip much easier to crack i would highly recommend for the beginners as well uh, anthony Dolan just has instructional dvds uh, there's mastering the whip volumes one and then mastering whips two and then three and four is his most recent uh release they're all very educational, uh, extremely, uh, he, I mean, he dives into everything. Anything you could possibly want to learn about whip cracking is, is in those DVDs. They're fantastic. I would really recommend them. You can get them through his website, I believe, and also at Blake Bruning's website at trinitywhipcompany.com um, or trinitywhipco.com. But uh, at any rate, I would highly recommend that and just, uh, just trying to make this video, again, to let some of the more pe people who are newer to whip cracking uh, so they know what to expect when they get their whip and they're not disappointed. You know, I know when I first started being an Indiana Jones fan when I was a kid, I always thought it was just a braided piece of rope. You know, basically a limber piece of uh, flexible material that was braided just because it would hold together and make it round and be able to taper. But it's so much more than that. Whip cracking is a really, it's a much more challenging than I think most people know. And a lot of guys, when they get their first well-made whip, they're just, they're confused by this tendency of it to bend. And it can be maybe concerning, is it supposed to do that? Is there something wrong with it? But no, there's nothing wrong with it. It's supposed to do that. Um, here, just to let you see, I have a 10-foot uh, Joe Strain whip, uh, indie style whip. And uh, you can see it's considerably darker uh, than the newer whip we just showed. Uh, the transition is very limber. This whip, just with what I've, used it has gotten a lot of use um, but still I can I can totally turn but just by turning the handle lift the whole whip because it, it doesn't want to go sideways it wants to stay oriented a certain way 
And that's because the previous owners of this whip have always used that tendency of the whip to coil while they're cracking and while they're aiming. And when they store the whip, they coil it up the same way every time and it, it just retains this coil. The leather has a, a memory, so to speak. It remembers what you do. And that's another, another point about whip cracking is that different whip crackers are gonna use the whip differently. And the whip is going to get used to the way they crack it. And there's been so many times when I've seen whips that were used um, through through Blake Bruning primarily, the whips that he had gotten a hold of, Terry Jackets and this and that and the other, where you could tell that whoever was using it was improperly using it because the whip had completely lost any desire to coil any certain direction and it, you wouldn't have this effect just by turning the handle at all. It'll almost lift its entire weight when I do that. Um, and that's a good thing because again, you're gonna use that while you're cracking the whip. So uh, the whip will get used to the way you crack it after you get used to the cracking whip. It's kind of a weird thing, but uh, every whip is a little different, but they're all, all the well-made tightly braided whips should have this tendency to coil and make this nice coil. And it's not something you should really want to go away unless you want a limber braided like rope, which I guess I could do, but I would rather not. Uh, but there you have it. I just wanted to make this video to hopefully further educate some of the newer entries into the world of whip cracking. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the future. Have a good one.